Okay, so first of all, I'm going to number all of my cylinders of air. And I'm going to do that by typing one into the first row. Then I'll do equals if. And I'll say if this cylinder ID here is equal to the cylinder ID in the cell above, then I want it to copy the number in the cell above. But if not, then I want it to take the number in the cell above and add one. And then I'll double click to send that formula down. And if we go down to the bottom of the table, you can see that the number increases. And if I scroll up, you can see that when the cylinder ID changes, the number increases by one. But whenever the cylinder ID stays the same, then the number also stays the same. So we have now numbered all of the cylinders of air. I'm going to add a custom format to this column and it is going to be a T at the beginning and then a hash. And the hash will represent the number and OK. And so now I have all of the numbers with a T in front of them for my target cylinders. Then I am going to use a unique formula to get a unique list of all of the target cylinder numbers. And I'll copy the formatting for this as well so they all have T's at the beginning. Then the next thing that I want to do is get the cylinder ID for each of the target cylinders. So I'm going to do this using an X lookup formula. The lookup values will be these values here and then the lookup array is going to be the column that I just created and then the return array is going to be the column with the cylinder IDs in it and close brackets and enter and this gets me all of the cylinder IDs. The next thing that I want is the start date so I'm going to drag the X lookup formula across and then I'm going to edit this. So instead of the return array being the cylinder ID column, it's going to be the time date column. Then I will copy the formatting across. And now we have the start date. So the first time each of these cylinders was measured. I also want to get the end date so I'll drag this formula across again and then I'll change this so the search mode is going from last to first and this will make it so that it searches from the bottom of the table up so the first time it finds the cylinder number will be the last time it was measured and this gets me all of the end dates we can also do this with the start date if we say that we want to search from first to last. But this search mode is also the default, so it doesn't change anything. The next thing that I want to do is combine the start and end dates together. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the text function. And this will be the value here. And then I will format the start date to show me the month and the year. And close brackets and enter. And this takes the start date here and changes it into the month and the year. Then I am going to use an and symbol to combine this with the end date. So I'm going to put a quotation mark in here, then a space, then a dash then another space and another quotation mark and another AND symbol. Then I will copy the text part of the formula here and paste it in here and we'll change the cell reference to I2. So now it's looking at the end date and enter. And now I've got the start date and the end date combined together. The next thing that I want to do is look at the count. So I'm going to do this using a count if formula. And the range is going to be the column with the target cylinder numbers in it. And then the criteria is going to be this cell here and close brackets and enter. And then I can double click to fill this formula down. 
and this gives me the number of times each cylinder was measured. Then the next thing that I want to do is calculate the average concentration in each cylinder. And I'm going to do that using average if. And the range is going to be the column with the target cylinder numbers in it. And then the criteria is going to be this cell here. And then the range that we are going to average is the column with the oxygen concentrations in it and close brackets and enter and then double click to send that formula down and we now have the average oxygen concentration in each cylinder the next thing that i want is the standard deviation however there is no standard deviation if function so instead i'm going to have to start this with a filter formula the array that I will be filtering will be the column with all of the oxygen concentrations in it. Then I'm going to be filtering to include only values in the target cylinder number column that are equal to this cell here and close brackets and enter. And this filters out all of the oxygen concentrations for the T1 cylinder. Then I can put the standard deviation function around this and it will calculate the standard deviation for that cylinder. And if I drag this down, I get the standard deviations for all of the other cylinders as well. The next thing I'm going to do is insert a new column here and I want for this column to show me the average. And I will use an X lookup formula in order to get this. The lookup value is going to be the cylinder number. Then the lookup array is going to be this column here. And the return array is going to be the average column here. And close brackets and enter. And it copies the formatting across. So I'll just change that back to general and then double click to send this down. And this pulls out the average for each of the cylinders. So you can see at the bottom here, it is different. The next thing that I want to calculate is the difference between the average and the actual concentration measured. So in order to do that, I'm going to take the oxygen concentration here and then subtract the average and then double click to send that down. Now I want to plot all of the differences in a chart, but I want the color of the data points to change whenever the cylinder changes. So in order to do that, I'm going to insert two more columns and these are going to be the even difference and the odd difference. And for the even difference, I'm going to do equals if and then is even. And so the logical test will be, is this number here even? And if it is, then I want it to show me the difference here. And if it is not, then I want it to show me an NA error. And that will stop it from being plotted. Then I will drag this across and then edit this formula. So I'll drag these cell references back. And this time, instead of testing for is even, we'll test for is odd. So if this number here is odd, then I want it to show me the difference. But if not, I want an NA error. Then I can double click to send both of these formulas down. And we'll always have one column that will have the NA errors in it. And the other column will end up with the numbers. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that the values swap sides. So when the number of the cylinder is even, then we get the difference in this column. And when it is odd, we get the difference in this column. Now that I have the data prepared, I can plot this. I'll make sure to click somewhere outside the table so I can then insert a blank scatter chart. Then I will right click and go to select data and I'll add in a series. And for this first series, the X values will be the date and time column. And then for the Y values, 
they're going to be all of the numbers in the even difference column and OK. Then I'll add in another series and the X values here will again be the date time column and then the Y values this time will be the odd difference column and OK and OK again. And now we have the chart. So I'll right click on this and move the chart to its own sheet so we can see it more clearly. So here, whenever the color of the data points change, that's when the cylinder is changing. And also the zero axis in this case is the average concentration for each cylinder. And all of the data points show the scatter around the average. So the target cylinders are measured at regular intervals and the measurement system should in theory measure the exact same concentration every single time. But of course it doesn't, there's always a bit of variation. And that variation will give us an idea of the noise in the measurement system. Okay, and that is everything.